Real hate, man, that's like an art form, man. You know, it's like, you like a born a hater, you know, like myself, man. You know, a lot of cats think they hate, but man, I mean, I'm mad, you know, I'm mad at everything, man. You know, brother got a nice car, man. Why you got a car, man? I only got one car. Why you got, why you got three cars or a wife or all that, man? I mean, that's played out, man. I hate on it till he's totally broke and ain't got nothing like me. You know what I'm saying? Cause uh, yeah, that's what real hating is all about, man. You heard of this idea of girl pretty? versus what's attractive to men so there's this idea where like certain people are like we other women will be like oh my gosh she's so beautiful but then like men are like oh whatever mm -hmm. and then there are other women where men are like oh my god she's so and we're like oh i don't really see it and i don't know That's literally i'm trying to think of an example because this could be just a myth i don't know i this isn't something like i just heard this once and i've noticed my cousin's now wife is like this where like he's like she's just the most and good for him good for her she's great but like all of the women in the family are like i don't like like he thinks like she's like and but all the other men are like yes and this is not just in our family like it's with friends and everything and that's when i first heard of this and then i heard of it a few other times do you guys believe in it and if you do are there any examples you brothers be tripping there andre so i had all my home girls over in case he forgot I was a lady. Do you think men prefer a natural body or a BBL? BBL. 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 Do you prefer natural bodies or BBL bodies? Natural. 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 What's your biggest turn off in guys? Probably when they don't work out. Huh? Go to oh, really? And stuff, yeah. White men. What do you mean by that? So, what do you guys prefer in a guy? Really rich, really black. Come on, man. At least 6'5. 6'5? Six five. Six five? Yeah. Yeah, just lots of money, really. Yeah. Like a, a yacht and stuff? Yeah, yeah. That kind of thing. Um, you can buy me fancy things, take me on trips, pay my rent. <laughs> <laughs> Delusional girl math. Y'all know I had my reconstruction surgeries for my butt. Y'all always like to talk about plastic surgery. Let's talk about plastic surgery today. Okay? Let's do that. Because we ain't going to talk about this plastic surgery all year now. Okay? Ooh, that feel good. That feel good. Went through all, all those issues. Shit, don't fall. Um... All those issues with my body, right? Um, I've been out of surgery for over three years. So Damn! So when y'all going to be like, oh, she has surgery, this and that. Nah, baby. You know, I was having surgery to live. Y'all always think something is cosmetic. I've never lied to y'all about that. And I've always been 100 and I always do. Um, three years out my last surgery to heal from my silicone removal um i do have another one i do have another surgery i do have another major surgery um to fix this butt cheek right here and just the dents and even more out because I had reconstructive surgery. I don't give a fuck what you think, bitch. Surgery. Um, no, I'm not going to get no big old butt. These arms, though, baby. The jiggle, baby. My arms never move. My arms be twerking. You know what I'm saying? So, mm mm. I'm working out. I just started working out the arms, but I ain't gonna lie to you. If he might be able to stick something in there and take the little fat out of there to help me up, I might let him help me up. And I, I said it. I might let him help me up. Yeah. Cut that bitch off. What's the lowest amount of money a man should spend on a wedding ring for you guys? Five hundred grand. Okay. I don't care if you're broke as. Take your mama's life savings. Take your life savings. Take your grandma's life savings and get me a rock. There is no price limit. Whatever the I pick out, you're buying. What's the, what's the wedding ring? What's your price? For you? No, no, no. For me, yeah. For you? Um. Why look at me like that? Like a thousand bucks. A thousand? Bye. He cold. She belongs to the streets.
Delusional Girl Math. Why this shit pissed me off? Like uh, every time we seem to be telling women the same thing, what we want, what we desire, what we think is a, a better look for them. It seems like it goes in one ear and out the other. You know, that's why this conversation uh, comes back up. BBL or um, natural bodies. Men been asking the same thing for the longest. Holly Berry was one of the top um, women that we desired back in the day, right? Or, um, you know, Jennifer Anderson, some, you know, one of these women that um, pretty much no higher than 120, 130, you know, they're pretty petite women, you know. Doesn't make any sense that uh, this still is a thing, you know, when we just want the, the natural body, natural curves, and, you know, no extra implants and no extra fillers here, fillers there. I don't, I don't understand what, what the conversation is. Um, it seems like women are in constant competition with women. And they're trying to one up each other on um, looks and status more than men even care about either one of those um, as much as the women does. You know, when you talk to women, you're going to usually hear a conversation about makeup, hair, nails, or uh, uh, that's, that's pretty much it. I don't think that, I don't think there's a. There's pretty much anything else that they thought. I don't know. I, I I couldn't tell you. But, you know, we've been saying the same thing for the longest. You know, it, it just seems like it, it goes in one ear and out the other. We want natural bodies. We want women that look um, fit, you know, feminine, uh, friendly. You know, that's uh, Kevin Samuels' spiel, you know. Um, and the same still lies true, you know. You could... Uh, Throw on one of them and 90% of men is going to agree with the same thing because we all pretty much feel the same way. We ain't going to say BBLs because these BBLs are getting ridiculous. Most of the time, you got to keep on going and reapplying the the um, fillers that you're, you're putting in there because you're not actually um, staying in the gym and staying fit and, you know, and uh, that keeps your uh, skin tight. That keeps your body tight. So, if you're not doing that, you're just adding filler. And then once gravity gets a hold of your ass in time, you know, you're going to start sinking again. And then you got to go back in there and reapply the same thing. So, you know, it's going to be a never ending circle back to back in, unless you get it all under under wraps uh, early. You know, you don't want to just keep on um, having to go to a doctor to keep getting stuck for these expensive ass um cosmetic surgeries, quote unquote. I know uh K Michelle was saying it's not cosmetic and I I I I I I girl obviously you going in there trying to get more and more stuff done for what I, I have no clue. You know women will accept you just how you are, you know, most of the time. Uh, if we approached it we liked you from there, you know. But then uh they go get cut up and most guys aren't even asking for this. They're just asking for a loyal, submissive, and friendly woman, you know. But at the end of the day, you know, I think this is more from social media, IG, Facebook, Instagram. You know, this is what did it to us, Instagram. That's all we could blame, you know, TikTok. That's all we could blame, you know. And then it constantly getting thrown in our face, with you know, the magazines – Cosmopolitan magazine, and you know, you need to be a, a a woman that looks like this or looks like that, you know. And a lot of men didn't care. We were still marrying average women. Um, you know, the supermodels were always at the top, and you know, always uh, the first of the pick because you know, men gonna try to marry them fresh out of high school type shit, you know. Um, especially like athletes or anything like that, you know. They're all around the same age, fresh out of high school, fresh out of college, or, uh, you know, getting picked early. So it is what it is, you know, but seems like it's just a, 
deeper rooted issue, you know, like one might need a little bit of therapy and understand that like everything's not perfect. You know, you can't just think that everything's going to be perfect. Your body's not going to be perfect. You know, um, your mind not going to be perfect. You know, things that you're going to have to work on throughout your life. You know what I'm saying? It's just part of life. But people think they could just, I'm going to just buy my way into, you know, looking fit, being fit, but then your mind's still messed up. Then you're still eating wrong and um, running around here uh, doing unhealthy things to your body. You know, your body's going to react to that. That's why you're going to have a little push there, a little push there, you know, as you're starting to fill it up. It ain't going to do nothing but put useless shit in your body that your body's going to reject at the end of the day. But it is what it is. Um, another problem is since you're getting all these fillers and getting all this Botox and getting cut up, BBLs and stuff like that. Um, the men that want to look like women are doing the same thing. Um, and then that that causes, you know, men to get kind of confused because we're just looking at an image and we're not trying, you know, we're not going any deeper. Once we go a little deeper, then you see that a lot of these TSs look like women. And it's like, what? The, they didn't, wait, so is the women looking like, the, men, the why are y'all all doing this? Y'all doing the same thing. They're, they're getting cut up. Uh, if it's a uh, rib cage getting took out so they have a Coke bottle shape, it's crazy. It's crazy. So, you know, um, accepting all this surgery, people are so accepting of it and everybody's like, yeah, that's that's great for you. You know, it's just causing more and more people to, to run to the doctor for things that's really mentally wrong with them instead of like... Um, physically or anything like that, an ailment, it could really just be, uh, you know, things that you guys got to hash out mentally first instead of running to uh, Dr. Oz and have him uh, slicing you up. So it is what it is. Silence is acceptance when you have like, comment, subscribe.